Hey guys, Roxy Sims here and I have a tutorial for you today. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a camper, like one of these two builds here and like the one you just saw, which is this one. I built this one a little bit ago, got a lot of good feedback, a lot of people wanted to know how I did it. So why don't we just jump right in and I will let you know. So first thing that I always do before I build anything ever is I put in these three cheats. So bring up the cheat bar that is control shift C. Then you put in BB period move objects on BB period show hidden objects and BB period show live edit objects. I never ever build without these cheats. Then you put in the word debug into the search bar, press enter, and I have found the easiest way to find this trailer that you'll be setting this camper on is to set it to base game only, and then you scroll all the way down because the debug section is absolutely massive. It's hard to find some things in there, and this trailer is called debug so you can't exactly search for it um, using the search bar so just scroll through here you'll scroll through um, books in these rocks and these signs here and then you'll find the trailer by all these boats you take that trailer out and I have found a good size for it to be sized down one and to size down things you use the bracket keys you set that down and then let's go over to the building part, get the room tool, make a square, doesn't really matter what size it is, pull it down using this arrow right here because the camper sitting on top of this trailer is technically a second floor camper because you don't have to deal with, um, you can make it like float on top of this trailer. Go up one and then make another square rectangle I suppose drag it out to be you know generally the size that you want it maybe like right there and then you can drag it over and I think that is the right size that I was looking for but the perfect size I have found at least for that type of trailer over there, for that camper, is eight by four. So let's count here. That is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got one too many. Sometimes you can drag it. Yeah, that worked. Sometimes if you try dragging that, it will also drag the trailer. If that's the case, like let's say it did do that, you can just put a line in here and just delete all of this stuff here. If that occurs. So we got the right size here. You can just move that, get rid of it. But as you could see, you could see the trailer through the bottom here. So just click on this, move it up just ever so slightly, and then you won't be able to see the trailer through there. If you would like a camper that's kind of like this one, Lots of campers have this curve on the front here, and I was going for a very specific look with this. I want it to be like a vintage pink, you know, camper. Um, if you want that look, the way that you're going to get that is by using roofs. So go to the half gabled roof, turn that around, and then you only want it to be one square deep, pull it all the way up, and um, take these, the eaves, pull them all the way in. To get like fine um, movements with the roof, you click on it and then you hold down the alt key and then you can just barely move it. So you want it to move it up about there. 
then same thing you you want to move the ease in on the sides as well then you can copy that of course you got to pull it way down and you'll only want it to go halfway so four tiles copy it again and there you go so now we can manipulate the roof to where it is curved so you click on the roof and then you hold down shift alt and c and then it brings up a couple options here instead of just having one of these that you can manipulate and then i just kind of curve it you can just curve it to the way that you like it and curve it about there Control alt c and then when i was curving it i was kind of wanting it to look more rounded in the front and then kind of angled down in the back that really looks like a vintage camper to me again hold down alt and you can adjust that and then you kind of curve that one a little bit so you can see there very curved and then it kind of goes swoops down in the back that's just like a very vintage camper shape to me and then the if you're going for this exact look it's really common to just have a very smooth roof and I like the white a lot of campers are white just use some roof trim I think I use which one did I I think I use this one if not that one works really great if you want a pink camper the wallpaper that I use for that Oh, I realize I have the base game. <laughs> no, get the base game off. Now I'll be able to find this one. Okay, so it's in the multi-themed kids room wallpaper. And I use this one right here. I think it looks pretty campery to me. But you can just use whatever type of wallpaper that you want. If you want to go base game, there is one. Let me find it here. And I think it works pretty well. I have used it before. Oh, here it is. I think this one works really well. That's totally campery to me. But you know, you could do whatever you want. For this one, I'm gonna keep it like this. And then, if you have the Strangerville pack, which for build items, I highly suggest, I, I really like it. So it has this door, which is the absolute perfect camper door. I mean, it's exactly one. And then the stairs. I like using these metal stairs right here, but changing them to gray. Like that. That looks totally realistic to me. And then for the windows, you know, I think any like this type of window would work well. I ended up using where like this window energy king I changed it to black that one works really well looks pretty campery i like having a trim on the bottom here as well oh and by the way if you want this to be a micro build then make sure that you don't have any flooring here sometimes when you place the roof it'll place flooring there and then it'll count against you tile wise so for example um where, where do i want oh trim that's what i'm doing so for this trim i just think that looks nice you could do black or whatever any kind of style you want but to get trim over this piece then you need to place a fence Get a really low profile if you have the Stranger Roll pack. This fence works really well. And you have to make a room with it. You can put the trim on. Like that. And then you can just get rid of that flooring. And again, it won't count against you. 
Now this is generally how you make a camper. You, you know, could stop really right there. Um, that's like the basics of it. But if you want a couple more things to make it look a little bit more like a camper, um, one thing that you always see on a camper is a window in the front here. Now, like I have over here, this is completely not functional. You can't see through it. It's not even connected to a roof really. Um, but you know, a lot of campers have that. So I wanted to add one just for looks. And so I will show you how to do that. This is kind of a pain. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it takes a few times of doing it, it really does. But I'll just show you the gist of it and then, you know, sorry if you ever wanna try to do it. it like I said, it is a pain. So you'll need it to be about here. And then you can ri raise up the window. So you're kind of raising it up blind. That's why it's a pain. Um, because if you have the walls up and everything, it, it just, you know, snaps to things and it's super jumpy with it. So this is the best way I've found to do it. So you uh, raise it up by using the nine key. And I have figured about raising it 22 times uh, works the best. So here we go. Okay, so about here. Let's see if it worked. Hey, that actually is not bad. I would move it in just a little bit so it's not sticking out quite so much. But you get the idea of how you would do that. And then basically it's the same thing with lights. Um, so like if you wanted to do these lights and the awning, you're gonna go about that in the exact same way. Other things that you can do to make this look more like a camper, if you go to wall decorations, this item from the spa pack, if you change it to yellow, you can put these, you just put them like right here. And they kind of look like the reflectors that you'll see, and sometimes these are lights. Also, you can add like an air conditioning unit and vents on top. There are also a couple things in debug that look really good. I put that on there and size that down a bit. Yeah, like that. A couple of debug items like this grass over here, this fence, those. Let's look those up. Debug and those uh, come with the Strangerville pack. So filter that. And find it a lot faster. Let me see, let me see. Here we go. Size that up. Put a little fence around it. Also, there is this. This thing right here, what even is this? I don't even know what this is, but I did raise this up and put it right here and it kind of looks like the electrical water hookup that you would see on a camper also if you would like this area right here where it looks like it's the propane tank whenever you place this trailer down then you just place it just slightly forward and then you can put shelves right here and put the containment barrel on here so it's a contaminant barrel and that came with the get to work pack. But if you don't want, if you just want to do it like this, then you totally can as well. Again, just look from the from above and you can just raise it up. And just set it right there. Of course, you can move it up forward so it's not clipping in. Yeah, and that's basically how you make a camper. You can design it in any way that you want. You could make it more modern like this one over here. This one is less of a camper and more of a tiny home on wheels. But if this is the look you wanna go for, you can totally use these techniques for that. I just didn't angle or I mean curve the roof on here. I just angled them. Um, but yeah, you can use uh, just a flat roof on here. You can 
do it, let's say you can do it like, like this and have it curved this way. Whoops. And then, you know, set that on top of there. Like that. You can put the curved types of windows on there, like um, some of these bay windows would work really well. Let's change it to white. You know, there's lots of different ways you could go about making one of these campers. Well guys, that is pretty much it. If you end up making any campers yourself, please share the pictures and tag me in them because I would love to see your creations. And if you have any other tutorial requests, please let me know down in the comments. This is my first tutorial video, so you know, go easy on me. <laughs> but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to talk to you all again very soon. Bye everybody.